All right, you ready? Show me compression. Zero. Nada. That's not okay. What's that about? Okay. We have no compression on number four. So we've either got a broken piston, broken crankshaft, broken camshaft, or maybe a broken timing belt. Yeah, let's try this one. It's a little more lower profile. Okay, I feel something happening here. I felt the crank turn. So it looks like the ribs on the belt have caught. Uh, but I don't see any damaged ribs yet. Let's see here. A little more. Good thing the spark plugs are out of it, otherwise it might build compression and may not want to turn. Oh yeah, there it is. Found it. Yep, -er. look at that right there. Huge bare spot on the belt. Let me get some more light in there, you guys can see. Look down there, see the belt right there? That belt is smooth. Not okay. Look at that. Yeah, so what happened is, this thing went to start one day, or crank, and it started tearing the teeth off of that timing belt. It stripped them clean, and it cranked and cranked and cranked, and I'm very certain that it probably bent the valves. We would have to pull the cylinder head off to confirm, but I, I do believe this is an interference engine. Happening Z hood. Here's our brake rotor. There was our brake rotor. All this right here. There's a uh, grease flung up on everything. And it looks like it came out of that uh, universal joint. Look at this. It's not okay. Customer states clunking noise. Yeah, I'd say that's that's super bad. How about the rear? How's that one doing? Is it similar? That uh, rear's okay. The differential's wasted. Look at all that play. And this thing's ragged out. Remove radiator cap. Lift radiator cap. Remove truck. Drive in new truck. Nah, just kidding. it has got one heck of an oil leak though. Look at that. Looks like a valve cover gasket. And maybe that oil pressure sender. Flywheel teeth have chewed up the starter, metal chunks down inside of the cone, and the starter, or the flywheel rather, not looking much better. She's rough. Uh-oh, not looking good. There's metal in here. So when you're trying really hard to find an oil leak, and you can't find the oil leak, bust out the smoke machine. It's fired up. We're pumping smoke into the crankcase. And look what we found here. Front crankshaft seal. Leak confirmed. Check that out. Smoking out of the crankcase. So the reason for the mess in the engine out is it had a very nasty leaking rear crankshaft seal. That's been replaced already. We finalized, checked it with the smoke machine, found an additional leak, which is good because I don't want to pull this engine back out again. While we were here, we decided to uh, repair all of the convolute that uh, is shrouding the wiring harness, hence the wiring harness on the floor. So this engine's getting a rewire harness uh, and a reseal. How about that? I've seen enough smoke machine powering down. Ha <laughs> it is alive! Okay, coming in a little closer. Yeah, we see most of this is electrical wire. That looks like brake line. This right here is definitely brake line. Hmm. What's this thing here? Stuff for the PTO. So this thing caught, this thing got a hold of everything in this area. Brake lines, PTO lines, electrical wires. All these electrical wires are usually connected to the frame over there through uh, 
see all those little holes? There'll be plastic clips that holds all that stuff to those holes. And it would have run down right there under the cab and then back. So it looks like at some point this, uh, this drive shaft was still spinning and it caught a hold of all those, uh, all those lines and hoses and wires and whatnot and ripped them clean apart. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back and examine this drive shaft a little bit further because we got some kind of clue action here. Something's going on. Let's see, above us, that's our trans pan. No big deal. That's the engine oil pan. That's the bell housing. Uh, I believe these are maybe coolant lines. I don't really know. Yeah, this thing was super hot. Okay, let's migrate back some. Okay, more crawling around. Let's see what we've got going on back here. Look at here. There's still diesel fuel. See that right there, that's fuel. So there's still diesel dripping out of the fuel lines even though those fuel lines burnt up. Oh, whoa, 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 what is that? I didn't even see. Oh, look at that. Look at this right here, that's crazy. The transfer case is broken in half. Look at this right here. Hang on, let me get some more light in that. That's that's something else. Look at that right there. Oh, I can barely see what's going on, but we're looking at the inside of a transfer case. And I don't know what's in there or not. Look, yeah, there's a couple gears. There's the chain. I think we're looking at the chain right in front of us. I can't see it straight on. I'm looking through the camera lens, but that's the chain in the transfer case. And it appears that the drive unit is not there. That's the unit, yeah, yeah, there should be a gear like right here, right where we're looking, let me point at it. There should be a gear right in here that that chain wraps around and that's how power is sent forward through the yoke that's supposed to connect to the drive shaft, which is, well, here's the other side of it. There's like a fuel line or a hydraulic line or something more wires see all this look at this right here oh man that's a main wiring harness right there and it's twisted look how much look at all the twists in those wires yeah it gets worse the farther you go back i'm gonna close up now on the left side i'm i'm moving the left side axle see that over there or the wheel rather and we're trying to get a good feel for the cause of the carnage in motion that's happening inside of this differential and I think well number one I was mistaken the gears aren't as worn as I thought they were but there's still a boatload of play going on inside of this thing like there's a lot of a lot of motion look at that I can see some motion on the spider gears so that means these things are worn at the pin and oh look over here here turn you guys a little bit Take a look at that bearing right there. Look at that. That bearing is annihilated. Yeah, that thing's junk. I wonder about the left side bearing. How's this one doing? Can we see? Yeah, it's also, it's also got some play in there. Let's look deeper down inside. I'm gonna try to move the drive shaft and we can check and see what kind of play is going on at that pinion gear right there. Let's take a look at that, see if we can't uh, get some action here on that one. So moving the drive shaft. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's wild. And there's there's glitter everywhere inside of here. Metal chunks all over the place. Too much play. Oh there's some more carnage. I found more. Way back big chunk missing out of uh, out of that pinion gear right come on zoom focus I'll zoom in more there it is focus please there's that big old chunk big chunk of metal taken out of one of the gear faces hmm. we need to see all of these gears hey Troy can you climb in there with a ladder and throw this thing in neutral yeah. I want to be able to turn this whole assembly around and look at the other side 
Yeah, I mean, it's not horrible. These actually look like they've been replaced before, these spider gears. So somebody has attempted to, uh, to fix this up, but we've got a chewed up bearing or a chewed up race or a chewed up bearing and a chewed up race. Yeah, we can see right here, it looks like the, uh, the bearings are actually starting to dig in to uh, the piece of the carrier right here. See that? Right in that area. Get some more zoom action in it. Let's see here. Begin zooming closer now. Yeah, right around here in that area, those bearings are touching the case. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, I, I don't think this thing's uh, in, in operating condition. Let's, uh, let's rotate the drive shaft a little bit. I'm reaching around. Let's spin this around to the other side. Oh my God. Oh my God, what are you doing? What is this? <laughs> Look at that. That's the pin. That's the <laughs> pin that holds in the pin that keeps this from going. How'd that happen? Did you do that? I'm gonna plead the fifth here. Okay, so all right, so <laughs> Troy did that. Oh yeah, look at look right here. See that? That's that's not okay. This is all wear from where this pin has been flopping around. Did you put these spider gears in this? I did not know. Okay. Yep, found uh, found some of the looseness. Let's check the other side real quick. This was previous owner activity. Oh, okay. All right. I blame this on Jordan. All right, as long as it's Jordan's fault, not yours. I'll be mad at you if it's your fault. Yeah, we're gonna, we need to replace all this stuff. It's not okay. You guys see that? Yeah, the case is damaged. That's all wallered out. Oh, now I can get this out. It's loose enough where it comes apart. Let's wiggle it some more. Are we stripped? Can you grab a eight millimeter wrench from the, uh, from the wrench drawer? Got it.